ドルを飛ばしてレッツクリスマス Alright, yo, what is going on, guys? My bull is back again, and I have not seen what they did. I did see that Veruca did get strong attack recharge as well as strong attack damage. I haven't actually looked at what they did. <laughs> I actually didn't know this was a thing. Just a little, little, little background information. I literally joined voice chat, and all I hear is Veruca is a beast, and I'm like, well, she definitely looked like one. It's like, yeah, don't let James let you hear you say that, and I'm like, okay. He's like, yo, Power Raruka's such a beast, and I'm like, I'm like I mean, there's no, that's not new. Machine Society Raruka's always been good, dummy, live the hell. And and all I hear is, yeah, Christmas Raruka. I'm like, wait, nani? I'm like, okay. Alright, so, <laughs> it looks like the Resurrection characters are finally here. Wait, hold up, These, this isn't the banner. It's Raruka and Ururu. Alright, we want two of these, okay. So let's just get right into it. I'm actually really interested to see exactly what they get. Um, I will be going through their five star version first, and then we'll go into their um, full on actual resurrection. So strong attack recharge minus 12%, berserker 30%, bruiser 40%, debilitator plus five seconds, devastation 40%, medic so she is a team healer, and sprinter plus one. Now Ururu's kit has never actually been good. Uh, not gonna lie, she was kind of nice when she came out, so I'd like to see what they give her. <laughs> and I don't see friends easy. So dead on arrival, Ururu got shafted. Uh, strong attack recharge minus 12%, and she was given NAD. Um, okay, a bruiser was not enhanced, so it's still 40%. Berserker is still 30%, so that's trash. Debilitator plus five seconds. Devastation. What? What? <laughs> Yo, shout out to Wonder Alice, cause like, okay, I looked at, I look. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, this is, this was like the yeah yeah like God they were, and I quote, this is what he wrote above this. God, they were lazy on this one. Yay for Raruka, she got some good stuff. Bro, they didn't give Jack, dude. Recover 16% stamina, which is nice for a full stamina uh, full stamina damage character. So, I mean, I guess that's pretty okay. A uh, weakened defense on R uh, Rukia. Okay, so let's just quickly um, go towards Ururu. All she was given was normal attack damage plus 16%, and obviously the updated um, attack uh, focus spiritual pressure. Pretty much like, you know, the resurrected stats that characters get. Uh, that's not bad. Like, <laughs> the upgraded stats isn't bad. But like the fact that they didn't give her any upgrades to her skills at all, literally is that okay? That, that that's beyond. That that's not even lazy. That's just sad. Really, bruh. Okay, and it looks like uh, Rukia, uh, in all her infinite glory, was given recover 16% stamina as well as weakened defense. Now the weakened defense is nice considering she'll be able to nuke a bit harder. Uh, 829 spiritual pressure she also has a soul reaper killer so i mean i guess she could be remotely useful what kind of bar like no she she had she has the old barrier right yeah 575 radius um she doesn't have havoc she does have frenzy which is nice debilitator plus five seconds oh that's so sad though like really that's all they gave her now raruka on the other hand was given havoc 20 percent as well as strong attack recharge probably to appease james for uh for, for all the negativity that they decided to backlash onto him, which uh, is kind of unfortunate. Anyways, strong attack damage plus 20%, strong attack recharge minus 10% makes her an excellent link, by the way, with Frenzy and Havoc 20%. Obviously, she doesn't have Berserker, but like, I mean, that's fine, honestly. Like, okay, so let's check out her, her kit and see exactly what she has. Now, she is a power Aronkar killer, okay. Uh, first strong attack is going to be the 570 lunge. That's pretty good, right? That is a lunge. I'm so glad that I have to actually look this up because someone was given frenzy. I mean, havoc 20%. That's also oh, that looks so good. 570 uh, radius lunge, standard lunge. That's pretty good. Uh, 630 to 690 AOE second strong attack. Uh, is this Retsu's? I'm trying to. Oh, oops. What is this similarity? Oh, what is all this crap? Wait. Oh. Hold up. Oh, that is so cool. I love you, Soldex. Yo, you're the best. 
Oh, man. Okay, I need attack similarities, though. Alternatives. Uh, is there an attack similarities, or was that taken away? I'm gonna do this into similarity. Bingo. There we go. Okay, so the second strong attack... Ooh, mm, akin to Siphon. That's weird. That's not a Vortex. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly what this second strong attack is. <clears throat> Alright, anyways. And then third strong attack is going to be a standard full screen third strong attack. Now, the fact that the full screen third strong attack is there means that this character is going to have some crazy range. 1200 radius. That's going to be really, really good. I'm not going to lie. I like this resurrection on Rebruka. So we're going to have a completely usable like character to pick up with the character packs. And this is also the third strong attack damage recharge character for power. I believe that power. this is the first time uh, we have three strong attack recharge and damage for another attribute other than heart. Because originally heart was the only one with strong attack recharge and strong attack damage, correct? Like let me, uh, let me click on, on tech. We currently have Stark and Ichigo. For heart, I think we have four. Oh, we have three. So Frenzy Yoroichi, Nel Yell, and Toshiro. And then for speed, we have a second anniversary Ichigo. For power, we have Byakia, Raruka, and Byakia. And then on top of that, for mind, we only have Ro uh, Rose. I was gonna say Rose Juro, but like, yeah. Uh, but to uh, Rose is so good. Like, Strong Attack Recharge 14 and 16 uh, uh, Sad is really good. Damn though, but like, mm, I wish this was a lot less lazy. The uh, uh, Raruka's good. Ooh, doo -doo. I feel like I I can't give them the pass for this, bro. Like, they give the character with frenzy bruiser plus twenty percent, but you don't give the character without frenzy anything. Really? Come on, Caleb. Y'all better than this. But I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys, grind on catch up for me. Stay blessed. Not really much to talk about here aside from the Raruka buff. I, I do think that this is actually a really, really good change. I'm definitely gonna be excited to play around with her. I wouldn't be surprised if people actually go out of their way to max transcender at this point, just because at worst she's gonna be one of the better links in the entire game. Uh, I wouldn't really advise anyone max transcender, but you know, if anyone wants me to do a showcase, you know what I'm saying? I don't it's, it's Christmas season, boys. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Please, please don't don't max transcender. Honestly, if you plan to like actually transcender, just get the SP to level 10. That's an amazing link, and I wouldn't really pass that up if you're actually willing to like level up the SP. You feel me? But I'm gonna leave it at that. Y'all know this guys. Grind on catch up. Stay blessed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.